maybe you could go through and show us the uh, lick that you do in Tears in Heaven and kind of uh, kind of go through that a little bit and show the Tears in Heaven because you were, you're featured quite a bit in that song. Yeah, I, I got really lucky. There's a, a story that goes with that. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know how much time we have before We have plenty break. of time. Tell us the oh, story. <laughs> well, the story goes, I went uh, down to the Village Recorders, which you may know where that is, down mm-hmm. in Santa Monica, this day, and it was just like another call, another day at the office for me. Uh, not to say that sessions are easy. They're not easy all the time, but this was just a call I got. I show up, oh, this is going to be for Eric Clapton, <laughs> but he's not here. Ah. Uh. He's sick. He doesn't feel well today, so we're going to come back tomorrow. So I didn't use cartage in those days, which I still really don't. And so I loaded all my stuff back in my truck, go home, come back the next day, same routine. Eric's here today, and he's going to be able to sing, and and it's going to be just fine. So we worked on Tears in Heaven most of the morning, and Eric says, let's have lunch. So he had everything catered in. We had lunch. It was beautiful. He He's a really nice guy. Mm-hmm. And worked on the song the rest of the day. Now, this is one song for the entire day. So after he got the, the take that he wanted, I was packing up, going to load back up in the truck. He comes out into the studio, and he says, but wait until everybody leaves because I want you to play the solo. That's when I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but he he uh, knew what he wanted, and he showed me on the Telecaster. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a Tele, too, I'm pretty sure, not a, a Strat. And uh, just one that they had around there. Mm-hmm. And he showed me the, the line for the solo, and what I didn't know was that he was going to uh, play unison with me on the first half and double it with harmony on the second half. So... He showed me the the solo, which goes like. And then Eric played the harmony. And that was the, the solo for the record. And then it goes to the bridge. Uh, to the the little reprise thing. Now, Eric was very specific in that instance. He wanted a certain thing. In a lot of your sessions, like, for example, the bird session, do they have very specific things? Do they write it out for you, or do they pretty much let you just, like, put something in there? First of all, I don't read music as notation. Okay. I can read chord charts. Okay. So when somebody says, well, here, just let me write it out for you, they're wasting their efforts. (laughs) Uh, You know, I learned to play by ear, and and, uh, I'm sure that... I would have been a better musician if I'd learned to read, too. And I would say that to any young player. Learn how to read music, but learn how to play also. Right. So uh, there was no writing parts out. We just kind of figured out our own parts and tried to mm-hmm. to needle them in, in and out of the other guy's parts, s- sort of stay out of the way. Although listening to Sweetheart of the Rodeo, we were kind of in each other's way the whole time. <laughs> 